I was born in a town called Wow, but we were living outside in the rural uh, village that is, I guess, around 12 miles away from Wow. And the government decided to have a counterinsurgency campaign. And the goal was to burn down villages, destroy food, destroy cattle to ensure that the rebel would have no food. And that is how my village was attacked. So we were like the first casualty of that. We had a journey of almost two months from where I was born to Ethiopia. The UNHCR did open 20 primary schools in, uh, in the camp, which is really good. A lot of uh, boys that ended up in the U.S. as the lost boys had had their education there, and it helps them actually when they come to the U.S. because they can speak English. It also opened the way for people like me. Like, had I not gone to school in the camp, I would have never competed for a student refugee uh, program. So yes, the conditions were tough, but for those who were determined to make sure that they changed their life uh, style with the minimum that was in the camp, at least something has changed. We were issued our visas to come to, to Canada. That was really good. We were excited and we flew to Halifax. We were welcomed by uh, a student from Dalhousie that was responsible for the Woods chapter there at the airport. He drove us to uh, the university and I made a point of going to student services and I was advised that here you don't need to be afraid of your professors, go talk to them, which I did. And the prof told me if I speak too fast, stop me, sit in front, follow me after the class to my office I was, and I improved uh, significantly. My goal of uh, working hard at the university was to make sure that I reclaim that ability to provide for uh, myself. At the moment, it has come to the fulfillment because of the position that I have at CIC now. So I have the job security, and that is the most important thing, you know, when someone wants to uh, reclaim that ability to provide for himself or uh, herself. So th when I got my citizenship, I knew that now I have a state that can really stand up for me, in, in a sense. So it was like a big uh, thing for me. It was really a big step, and it came, you know, after my graduation from the university too. So that year was like a huge year for me. I graduated from university, I got my Canadian citizenship. It was really great. 2006 is a memorable year for me.